guys welcome back to my channel y'all should already know who it is or you should know who it is the ceo of i tasty i got on my tasty shirt the ceo of the seven figure lash business and i am back with another video you already know if you're new here hit that subscribe button everybody go ahead and hit that like button turn on them notification bells so you don't miss when i post videos okay and if you're not new welcome back thank you for coming back you guys this video as y'all can tell from the title is going to be on two things that helps me get to where I'm at in life today um, my life literally changed within the past three years if you are new here and don't know I did start my um, lash business my cosmetic business about three years ago and since then my life like my life has completely changed I went from working three jobs to now I am a full-time entrepreneur multiple streams of income passive income to where I'm not working getting up driving here then leaving here and driving there and going to school I'm no longer doing none of those things within like my life literally changed y'all within the past three years and I feel like these mindsets like everything's like I always tell y'all everything starts with the mindset if you want to be rich if you want to be this if you, you can be anything that you want to be in life but I feel like first it starts with your mindset if you have a negative mindset if you're not thinking positive if you're not seeing yourself doing that like if you see yourself living in a high rise if you don't positively be like I'm going to live in that high rise I'm gonna this I'm gonna that I'm gonna get that g-wagon and instead you're like I'm never gonna be there must be nice I wish I can get there no positive vibes only the first mindset that I want to speak on is not caring about what people have to say or think I feel like this was major for me especially if you saw my YouTube journey video I told you guys I did start YouTube back when I graduated high school in 2015 it is now 2022 and I have been consistent the past two to three two two ish years okay but one of my main reasons why I did not pursue my YouTube channel back then is was because I was scared of what people would think, what people would say, what people would say if they saw me on this platform, okay? And even when it comes to my business, I stopped promoting my um, business on my personal platforms because it was like, even my YouTube, I didn't promote my YouTube um, on my personal platforms because I was scared because every time I would post it, it was like I was barely getting likes nobody was acknowledging it it wasn't until like if I could look at myself back then y'all I would have been like girl why are you worried about these likes likes do not equal orders likes do not equal money likes whether people like your stuff or not they're still seeing it and that's one thing that it took me I can say maybe a year it really took me months but really really it took me like a year to instill that in my brain that likes do not mean anything it wasn't until like my business hit six figures within nine months and I had business owners that had way more of a following than me that was reaching out to me telling me they're not getting sales and it had me looking like pause I thought because this person had X amount of followers that they were getting orders and stuff and the whole time that's not how it is so always remember that likes does not equal sales a following does not equal sales just because somebody has x amount of followers just because you have x amount of followers does not mean that you're going to get a certain amount of orders okay so i feel like like i said not caring about who's going to like my stuff not caring about who's going to say you're promoting your business every day once i stopped caring about that and just doing me because y'all that follow me y'all know if you ain't following follow me all my handles are down below for my business page. Everything is I Tasty, and my personal account is Rika underscore Forever on Instagram. Okay, we're almost at forty thousand followers. But um, y'all see, I post my my plat my business everywhere. I post my business on my personal accounts, on my business accounts. Not as much on my personal, but I still post it every day. So whether you follow the brand or not, you gonna see us. Okay, you're going to. So see the us. second mindset that changed my life is not worrying about other people. And waiting on my own time I feel like this is major especially for a lot of people that may be watching this video you may be looking at me you may be looking at other entrepreneurs that you look up to and instead of waiting on your own time you're just projecting even though most times it's positive you know you'd be like oh I wish I can be like you I always tell people don't don't try to be like me because you don't even know what happens behind closed doors once I turn this camera off not to say that something bad is happening but 
you don't know what happens once I turn this camera off. You don't know once what anybody that you're looking up to, you don't know what they have going on behind closed doors. So never want to be like somebody else. If anything, you should try to do better than somebody else. If you see somebody and you're like, oh, I want to be like them and better, okay? You want to do better you want to push yourself to your fullest potential and i feel like nowadays especially like i say social media is so glamorized that it makes people focus on other people instead of focusing on their self like for example um jada the influencer the social media influencer who i follow she had posted a picture of her new car and the shade room reposted it um, they basically reposted her comment section because in her comment section, well, I, this is what I'm saying from the comment section. So basically somebody was like, dang, how many cars you got now? And she basically, they was like, like you had this car, this car, this car. And in my mind, I'm just like, dang, y'all keeping up with how many cars? And I follow Jada. Like I said, she doesn't post her cars every single day. She really posts more pictures of herself, but she does, every time she gets a new car or has a new car, she does post it. But the fact that you don't even know this person and you're keeping up with every single car that she has. Girl, what about, you, you know, y'all, do y'all get where I'm going with this? It's like people are so focused on other people. But girl, how many cars do you have? And it's not even shade, but it's like, I'm sure you would love one of the cars that she has. Are you working towards that? So my point is that people are getting... They're, they're getting caught up in focusing on other people's lives when they can be making their lives better. And that's kind of like why I say I stopped watching reality TV because I used to love reality TV. And I had to take a step back because it was like, dang, I'm sitting here involved watching this drama and stuff go on. These people are already rich. They're getting money off of, you know, and we're watching them. I'm trying to make money too, okay? I'm trying to be rich out here. I'm trying to live in this big house. I'm trying to do this, this, and this. And it's like, I'm over here looking at all these people and like, ooh, they got a car, they got security, they got this, they got that. And it's like, I want to be doing that too. And I can, okay? So I feel like once I change my mindset to that, and not focusing on other people, my time will come. Like I said, your time will come. My time will come. It's no need for you to be jealous of somebody else. If it's meant to be, it will be. Don't be jealous of somebody else. Don't hate on nobody else. Because at the end of the day, what you put out there is what you're going to receive. If you a big hater, if you uh, don't support people, whether not even talking about paid support, free support, how do you expect someone in return to support your business? And even when it comes to paid support, I know most times, like back when I first started my business, is business owners out here that have never shopped with other smaller businesses but they somehow expect people to shop with them do y'all know how many do y'all know how many smaller businesses i've shopped with every black friday i have made it like a routine of mine to shop with at least 10 small businesses and i try to like i always shop with a few of the same ones because they do have stuff i actually use and need but other than them i always try to shop with businesses that sell stuff that are new that i've never shopped with before that do have something that i need but it's people out here like it's probably somebody watching this video and you are a small business owner. How many businesses have you shopped with? And again, this is not me, you know, forcing you to shop with somebody else. But I'm just saying you can't expect somebody to support your business, but you're not supporting other people's businesses. You get what I'm saying? If you yourself has not supported other small businesses, then don't accept, don't expect smaller, small business owners to shop with you. And of course, I'm not speaking on, you know, shop for shop. I'm talking about genuine support. If you are not genuinely supporting other people's businesses especially on instagram if you follow all of these businesses you can't expect these people to come shop with you if you've never supported if you don't like their posts you don't support what you give is what you receive okay so i hope you guys enjoyed this quick video like i said on mindset these are the two mindsets that changed my life and helped me get to where i'm at today comment below if there is a mindset like what mindset helped you get to where you're at today do you agree with anything that i said disagree i will be chatting with y'all in the comment section don't forget to hit the like button don't forget to subscribe if you are new here and be sure to check out my other videos because I got plenty of them. Follow, check out my website if you do need lashes. Y'all, I'm working on orders so the cup is looking a little empty, okay? Check out my website and I will see y'all on the next